Hey guys, welcome out to Heels Kitchen because the only thing I love more than shoes is food and cooking it. So today we're gonna make something really fun. It's kind of a twist on some flavors. It's chicken cherry lettuce wraps. They all go together. The first thing we're gonna do with some olive oil in a pan is take a roasted chicken, debone, and just start reheating it up just a little bit to make sure it's nice and warm. All right, while well, this is starting to cook, let's go through what you're gonna need for this recipe. First of all, we are gonna need about two cups of shredded carrots, about a cup and a half of cherries, pitted, cut in half, quartered, however you prefer. You're gonna need about four to five green onions that are sliced, the white part and the green part, third of a cup of almonds, salt and pepper to taste, some ground ginger, teriyaki, honey, red wine vinegar, and some olive oil. All right, so the chicken, if you wanna save yourself some time with roasting a chicken, go ahead and get a rotisserie one, make it even easier. You're gonna add a teaspoon of ground ginger right into the chicken. We're gonna start with cooking the carrots just a little bit. You do want this stuff to be pretty crunchy, so none of this actually needs to be cooked down that much. Adding two cups of the shredded carrots right into the chicken. Oh, that ginger smells so good with it. While that starts to cook, I'm actually gonna start getting the sauce ready. Now in a little mixing container already, I have a tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two tablespoons of teriyaki, and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of good olive oil. I like adding it all in this together because you can kind of measure it together and then of course you can just mix it right in here and pour it in nice. Get it all nice and incorporated, you guys, and then you can just start mixing it right in to the chicken and the carrots. And again, we're not really even like cooking the carrots that much, so this is just reheating the chicken, basically, and getting all these flavors mixed in together. All right, I have quartered, probably quartered. These were pretty big cherries. By the way, you can buy frozen. They're not in season this time of year. Just get whole cherries. Add that right in. And I love, 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 love the colors all mixed together. All right, we're just gonna let this get happy for a couple minutes, get it all nice and warm. The flavors are gonna start, like the sauce is gonna start to reduce a little bit too. And then we're gonna add the extra stuff. All right, it's starting to come together so nicely. Hit it with a little bit of salt. Kind of some pepper to taste. And the very last thing we're gonna do is add the green onions. Cause again, that's one of those things that you want to make sure it remains crunchy. And the almonds too. Now the almonds, if you are, I mean, it, this kind of makes a lot. So if you're thinking you're only like half of it, just top each individual lettuce wrap with some almonds at the end. If you're gonna serve it all together, feel free to mix them right in. I ate this probably for like two weeks after Christmas when you're just like, oh, that's so full from all that overindulging. This is so good for you too. Mix it all in. The crunch of those almonds is so perfect. And some black sesame seeds. Just because why not, right? So, now you just need some bib lettuce, however many you like. I mean, this serves a lot of people, so maybe a couple of heads of these. And then you just make these pretty little lettuce pockets. Come on. Nothing beats bright, like healthy, vibrant, presentation on this stuff. And you can pound like four of them and not even feel bad. Unless you're not an animal like apparently I am. <laughs> Maybe you stick with two. All right, you guys, there they are, your chicken cherry lettuce wraps. For this recipe and so many more, check out Heels Kitchen. It's kygo.com. Enjoy. I'm gonna get up on this.